All right, Gold Digger Dave here, guys. Uh, just gonna run through a couple of things. I'm actually going out this morning and we'll show you in a little while for a hunt with the uh, Nugget Finder 12 by 7 coil. Now, this is a great little coil. We had a crack on one of the prototypes when we were over in uh, WA on our Pilbara trip. So, firstly, I like to make it easy for myself when I'm out there. So when I'm heading out, first thing I'm gonna do is add an extra lower shaft uh, to my kit. I'll grab one off the shelf there. What this will do, it's gonna make it so much easier to change your actual coils over when you, you're swapping them in and out. You won't have to undo the nuts and bolts and everything like that. You pick up an extra lower shaft for the machine, it's about 99 bucks, so it's not cheap, but it's uh, certainly a huge advantage to uh, getting yourself set up quickly. So firstly, you just insert the shaft uh, like we did for the mounting bracket on the coil there. I'm just uh, gonna do that one up nice and tight there just so it's got a little bit of movement with the coil, it's okay. Second thing I've got to do is grab my trusty 6000 here. Whoops, we hit the roof there, but that's okay. Just gonna undo that from there. Just uh, loosen him off. Now, this is where you get the slime saving. Once you've got this loosened off, you can then literally unlock the top one here, slide that out, put him aside. Let's put in our next uh, coil comes in now. So now we've got the 12 by seven, I've taken off the 11 there, just screw that one up a bit tighter there. Wrap my cabling around for starters, so I'll leave a little bit of slack in it so I can get this out to the right length for me. Just uh, loosen that one off. As I've done there, it'll come out a bit further as well. Wrap this one round, just give me a second there guys, I've nearly uh, got this all the way around. I think I'm gonna need a bit more length in it yet as well, so just extend him out. By doing that kind of stuff there, I've saved myself the time of having to uh, undo all of the nuts and bolts and things around this part of the coil there. So, with that nearly on there, I'll plug him in. Line it up, so little keyways lined up. Just make sure you have your connections uh, done up very tight when you do this. Your connections are done up nice and tight, you're not gonna get any false signals coming from out of the uh, plug area here. Let's do that up there. I think I've got the right length on it, the coil's on. Just tightening it up now, shouldn't be too long there. And that is just about there. Push him in to make sure she's really tight. Haven't got a caught under anything there. Okay, that's that simple. I've changed over the coil. I've put an extra lower shaft on there for a hundred bucks. Now we're ready to go out and have a crack in the whip stick. I'll see you again shortly while we detect some gold out at Lightning Hill.